I just got a picture sent to me of about a nine foot python. Guys, I hope we get there in time. This trail's like two miles long. We just got the snake, it's right here. Oh my God. All right guys, we're going in. <laughs> What is going on my beautiful people? It is a gorgeous Sunday afternoon and what would a weekend be without getting a crazy phone call that only happens here in Miami? I just got a picture sent to me of about a nine foot python up 10 foot in the mangroves at a marina. Now, yeah, that's literally what happens here. I'm freaking out because it's just crazy. I cannot wait. I am on my way there right now. But in the meantime, I sent my boy Landon over there. Landon lives about five minutes away from the marina. So I called Landon up and I said, bro, you need to get down there right now because we need this snake. You need to keep an eye on it. So Landon is there right now. I think he has his eyes on it. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, we're going to shoot over to him right now. What's up, guys? I just got a text that there is a Burmese python right by my house at this marina. I just got a backpack. I'm going to throw it on. And and uh, we gotta head over there really quick because it's sitting up in a mangrove. My friend Walker sent Jacob a picture. Jacob's kind of far, so he sent me the picture. And now we're gonna head over there and see if the snake is still there. We don't want it to go away. Some girl just sent the picture and said, hey, look what I found in the tree. Huge python. Hopefully we can get it. Jumping in the car now. Let's see if we can go find this thing. I'm on the trail now. It's a beautiful day. After looking at the picture, I think I know where it is. I think he's sitting on the left side of this trail at the end when it opens up, it looks like the area where he's sitting. I could be wrong, who knows where this thing's at. All right, so I'm looking, still have no idea where this thing is. All these trees look the same. <laughs> Just trying to go off the picture and um, see what's in the background, but we're getting close. Guys, I hope we get there in time. This trail is like two miles long. Hopefully he's still there. You don't know, somebody could move it. Somebody could, you know, cast their fishing rod. I, who knows, people are crazy down here. Hopefully we still see him. Should be so cool. So I walked all the way out here and there's no trees. with snakes in them. And I have to turn around. All right guys, so we actually just turned around again, walking back out to the end of the jetty. Like I said, I have no idea where this thing is. And she actually, the girl just messaged me saying that it's at the end of the jetty, but it's past, you have to go swimming in the water. So that's what we're about to do. I'm waiting for Jacob still. We don't even know if it's still there. So we could go swimming for nothing, but let's just see what happens. As I'm walking back, it's a little iguana. Oh, there he is on that rock. Look at him. There's just so many invasives around here. There he is. <laughs> How you doing? Guys, we have a situation. We got a giant python here that we got to get like ASAP. We need those to get your, this. These are swimming shorts. You ready to go swimming? Ready to go swimming? This is my mask so those, I can see underwater. Oh, nice goggles, dude. They're very uh, watertight. You know, I always get people questioning me in the comments. There is no way. I had just someone yesterday comment. There's no way that one person could run into this many crazy situations. But the fact is, we really do run into these crazy situations. I mean, it just happens every day. Pretty much. I mean, we just find the craziest stuff here all week. It's not that deep right now, but once it gets to that black water out there, it's going to get pretty deep. You ready, Jake? I'm ready. See the boat shoes. They're oh, meant yeah. to get wet, right? All right, so apparently we heard it was this first island, but it's not this first island. It could be way out there to these other islands. So we got a boat coming out right now. We're gonna try to flag him down. The guy's gonna take the us. The guy's gonna take us. We just have to swim out to him. <laughs> right now. <laughs> we did it, we made it on the boat and he's taking us there right now. All right, so my boy Hunter yeah. just picked us up. He was heading out of the channel. We said, and this is gonna be a really long swim. So we gotta get somebody to bring us out to this snake. And uh, now, Trying to look for it. We don't know which island it's on, but I don't know, man. So from the picture that we saw, we think it's you know going to be on that second island that's got the tallest tree. But you know we're going to approach it right now, and we'll uh, we'll see what's going on with it. Right there. Let's go. All right, guys, we got dropped off here, and if you can look, land is all the way over there. So we we're out here in the middle of nowhere, guys. We are here right now, and the snake is up in the tree. It's right up in that mangrove. We're actually right going to have to climb up the mangrove. All right, guys, we have an eye on the snake, and it's just balled up in the tree. It almost looks like a green tree pipe, but it's way up here in the mangrove. Look at that, right there. Same spot as he was earlier. Yep. Dude, I can't believe it. So here we have up in the mangrove about a 10-foot Burmese python. Here in South Florida, you know, this snake is native to Southeast Asia, but, I mean, they're just everywhere here. I mean, we are so far from, we're like at least a mile from land, and here's this snake way out in the water, and they've been finding them 10, 15 miles that way near Virginia Key, Key Biscayne. I mean, let's take a look. Where's his head? I don't know. He's like coiled up in there. All right, good, I man. See his head. I see All his right. Head. 
guys, take a look at this beautiful Burmese python. He's got his target on me, and he is just hanging out here in the mangrove. I mean, what an absolute stunner this snake is. I mean, he's looking at me, and I'm in the strike zone. I mean, he could very, very easily strike me in the face, but wow, what an incredible animal. And this catch, this one's for Landon. Landon's gonna get up here and catch him. Let's do it. Guys, we just ran into our friend Gareth right here, and he's gonna give us a ride. All right, Landon's gonna go up the tree and grab him. Go, bro, go, do this. Wow, guys, what an incredible day. What an incredible moment. You see his head? Oh, we got him, got him. Oh my gosh, wow. Holy crap, Landon, bro. Woo -hoo, woo! We gotta go quick because there's a high current. Yeah. And I, I think we gotta swim with this thing. We gotta dude. swim with it. Let's go. All right, guys, we gotta get to the boat. What are the odds, man? Yo, what are the you odds? You're a beast. You're you're crazy, we bro. We didn't know if we were gonna find this snake, but we got him. We got him. Sitting up there, great mission. Just super cool. Bro, get so this snake sick. And get on the boat. Yeah, we, right, we, gotta go. Go. we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, almost lost my shoe. Hold on. All right, so we're on the boat now. Just Our boy Gareth on. just saved us out here, coming in from a day of fishing. Oh my gosh, crazy, so crazy. Guys, we just got this python right here. I mean, look at it, it is pissed off. Look at those teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh, and we just got picked up on the boat. But I mean, this thing's probably like nine feet, and just look at those teeth, wow. All right guys, so big shout out to you Gareth for picking us up, thank you. So we no actually gotta problem. get back on the jetty right over there because we left our keys there, so what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna take the snake, Landon's gonna take the phone, and uh, I'm gonna have to hop on in. All right, guys, we're going in. <laughs> Aquaman. Woo! Woo! There we go. See you, brother. Thank you. No we made it. We made it. We are Jacob. Back. We're, we're back. back on land, guys. We got the snake. Got the snake. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Let's go back to the truck. Let's see what people think. These invasive species here. Yeah, we just got this. Touch you want to touch it? You just caught it? Yeah. Look at you. Hey, yeah, what we had. It was like a mile out there. Oh, y'all yeah, swimming, got it? Yeah. yeah, we had a boat help us out. You hear about like the pythons in the Everglades? We, we euthanize them. Yes. We have to euthanize them. Legally, you're not allowed to keep them. Does anyone want to touch? Nope. No. No. <laughs> I like snakes. Is that a real No, it's a lot. Of, yeah. Really I like real. snakes. I like yeah. snakes. I like snakes. Mm -hmm. It's I like cool, snakes. right? I like snakes. <laughs> really cool. And I like Is snakes. it alive? Mm -hmm. I like snakes. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're walking back with this thing. And everyone is questioning us. Like, we're walking past, and everyone's like, oh, cute snake. Is it your pet? We're like, no, no, no. We caught it. And they're like, no, 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 no. Like, yeah, we did catch it. It's crazy that people literally don't know about any of these invasive species down here and they're just hanging out in the mangrove they think we're just out here walking our snake soaking wet yeah crazy so they're just having a good time taking Blue pictures of it. you guys like that it's love cool right <laughs> I love it. we are back here at the car right now and this python i think from when we were wrestling it swimming in the water i think when he was coiling around our arms that he just kind of broke a spine because he is just totally lifeless and i have never ever seen this in a snake like this I mean, just look at him, he's totally lifeless. So since this is an invasive species, by state law, we have to humanely euthanize him. So we are going to put him in the bag right now. We're gonna actually take him back to the house where we are going to, I'm actually, I'm gonna make some python jerky out of him. I've never made python jerky. So we're gonna skin him and we're gonna make some python jerky. I may do a video on that. I am not entirely sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have not already, please go comment down below what you thought because this was insane. We had to swim through the water we had to get a couple boats to get us to, to get to the snake. You know, we had to get two boat rides just to get the snake and get back to shore. So I wanna know what you guys thought about this because this stuff is just absolutely insane. And if you guys are not subscribed already and it is your first time on the channel, it is the first link down below. So it's time now, we got a bagger. We're just gonna stick her in this bag right here. You know, she is totally lifeless and I'm just in shock right now because I have never ever seen this. Normally these snakes are coiling and going crazy. I mean, just look at it. And you can see that it's a female right here because if you look right here, one way you can tell it's a female is obviously inside here, inside the vents, and also these spurs right here. See these little horns? On males, they're gonna be much, much larger. On the females, they're pretty small. Let's get her in the bag right now. Put her in. Where's my zip tie? You know, we gotta make sure that this snake is entirely secure. Spin the bag, put the zip tie on, we're good to go. 